China with dreams and aspirations of billions is poised to take center stage in world affairs. The country is at the place where it belongs. The Middle Kingdom is in the middle of news and center of attraction. The whole world is doing business with China and interacting with it. Since 2005, Confucius Institute is operating in Islamabad and Karachi. With the growing interest of businessmen in Chinese language, a new Confucius Institute in Faisalabad is being established. At the center of this charm and attention is the language to communicate with China. To make the world understand China, Confucius Institute program began in 2004. Confucius Institute was also mandated to promote Chinese language and culture, support local Chinese teaching internationally and facilitate cultural exchanges. The journey of 10 years is filled with many landmark achievements and is a rousing success. Just like the British Council of United Kingdom, Alliance Francaise of France and Goethe Institute of Germany, Confucius Institute has made its mark and is poised to be the leader very soon. Since 2004, there are over 400 Confucius Institutes in over 100 countries. The aim of Hanban is to establish 1,000 Confucius Institutes by 2020. The institute not only teaches language, it introduces the proud culture of China to the world. It arouses the passion to discover and understand a vast body of language of thousands of years of history and trove of knowledge and information. Confucius Institute is a requiem to the old master. Confucius said, if you think in terms of a year, plant a seed. If in terms of 10 years, plant trees. If in terms of 100 years, teach the people. These were the words of a sage, a visionary, a philosopher known as the great master Kong Zi. Uh, the most influential and the, and the most uh, greatest philosopher, teacher and thinker in China in the history of China. The first reason is to meet the demands of the Chinese language learning because nowadays more and more people want to learn Chinese. And the second purpose is we, we just like to uh, make communications, cultural communications and language communications in different countries and different cultures to make people can understand each other better. Every year, every year we will have more than 20 cultural activities. We just like to we we just wish to make Pakistani students understand Chinese better. And we also want to make Chinese people understand the Pakistani people better. So I think it's a communication. It's a communication between China and Pakistan. As the Chinese language and culture are spreading worldwide, there is an increasingly urgent demand for Chinese language teaching around Pakistan. There are a great number of economic projects initiated in Pakistan by Chinese help and businesses from the Middle Kingdom are expanding and opening offices in Pakistan. Taking advantage of this trend, leaders and teachers of the Confucius Institute in Pakistan are striving to attract more interest in Chinese civilization and Chinese characters. With this background, Confucius Institute in Pakistan is breaking new grounds and matching the physical developments in the country with contribution in the soft skills of language and culture. Pakistan is the first South Asian country to sign a free trade agreement and currency swap agreement with China and is also the largest destination of Chinese investment in South Asia. China is Pakistan's second largest trading partner and fourth largest export market. China-Pakistan Economic Corridor has the potential 
to turn Pakistan into a hub of regional cooperation. Pakistan-China friendship is higher than the Himalayas, deeper than the deepest ocean and sweeter than the sweetest honey. National University of Modern Language, a leading Pakistan university and pioneer in language learning, is playing its role in making the dream of Chinese language learning a reality in partnership with the Confucius Institute. This is a natural alliance. With years of excellence and norm de plume for language learning, numel and path-breaking initiatives and trendsetter with innovative ways of learning, Confucius Institute are trailing new frontiers. A perfect symbiotic relationship exists between the two, which when seen in the broader spectrum are helping the two countries. A sort of revolution came in 2005 when Confucius Institute was established with the help of Chinese government and Hanban in the premises of uh, Namal. More than 50% of the Chinese student population, it directly or indirectly, belongs to Confucius Institute or Namal. Being a, a language uh, institute and being unique in uh, the entire region, uh, no institute could have been better than uh, Namal to host uh, Confucius Institute. Confucius Institute in Pakistan is being rebuilt in Namal and uh, it is being converted into a model uh, Confucius Institute of not only Asia, rather in the entire world and uh, it, the uh, project would be completed by September this year and you will see a new look Confucius Institute coming up. Confucius Institute in Islamabad is the first Confucius Institute in the Islamic world. In April 2007, the opening ceremony of Confucius Institute Islamabad was grandly held. Namul has the unique honor that the Confucius Institute hosted here won three Confucius Institute of the Year awards in 2007, 2008 and 2010. In Pakistan, the best part is that apart from teaching Chinese language courses, Confucius Institute also organizes many cultural activities to promote and tell each other of culture and education between China and Pakistan. Just like the mantra of the great master Confucius, it does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. The institute is following in the footsteps and trailblazing with nothing to stop it. Confucius said, wherever you go, go with your full heart. This is not an isolated foray. It has the full backing of people and government. The Chinese embassy is playing its role of bridging the gap between the two cultures and people and transforming the banumi of the government-to-government -government level to the ordinary citizen level. This will cement the already strong bond even further. Pakistan, we have three Confucius Institute and more and more Chinese teachers come here to teach the Pakistani Chinese to let them know uh, more about Chinese culture and Chinese and not make it more modern Chinese to let them know more about China and when they go back to China they can uh, to all the Chinese people their experience here to let more Chinese people know uh, the life here. When we look at the role of Confucius Institute in Pakistan, it has been the best it could be. It not only has imparted language skills to people from all walks of life, from students to housewives and professionals to businessmen, 
The contribution has been immense. The institute also trains teachers and various batches of Chinese teaching trainings were conducted. Agreements were signed with different universities for teaching Chinese as a foreign language which will go a long way to help the people of Pakistan learn Chinese. In the Chinese language there is a word Ching Chun which literally means youth and spring. People often relate youth to spring because both of them represent hope, animation and passion. It is the Pakistani Chinese speaking youth which can affect people around them and help them to study Chinese, know about China and enhance China-Pakistan friendship. Long live Pakistan China friendship. An excellent initiative is to introduce Chinese in schools and as the saying goes, catch them young. The initiative will pay dividends in the long term. The future of Confucius Institute and Chinese language learning in Pakistan is filled with optimism. The completion of 10 years marks the beginning of great things in future. Confucius Institute in Pakistan had a glorious past, has a wonderful present and a very bright future ahead. Mommy, my sister, I'm a friend of the